Bipolar disorder is a mood condition characterized by ups and downs. In the ups, children can present happier than usual, more euphoric, uh, more elated, or irritable, very irritable and aggressive, and they can also present depressive episodes. Our research uh, focuses in the identification of risk factors and characteristics of children who are offspring from bipolar parents. It focuses on the clinical identification, so we look into clinical characteristics they may have that can tell us which ones can develop bipolar disorder or not later in life. We look into how they behave, we look into their environment, we also look uh, at their brain using MRI techniques and neuropsychological tests to evaluate their functioning. Kids who have ADHD, they're gonna present a continuous problem. They're gonna have their inattention, and their uh, poor concentration activity, that's something that's part of their character, they're always like that. When it's bipolar disorder, you're gonna have, for example, inattention because you're depressed, you don't have energy to put in your tasks, so then you lose your attention and concentration. We still only rely on behaviors and reports of behaviors to make a diagnosis. And this is why it takes a long time and a long interview to make sure, for example, a child presents bipolar disorder. This research is paramount for us to find uh, what factors can trigger bipolar disorder later in life and also the factors that we can prevent for them not to develop that. Maybe we can prevent the development of more serious behavioral problems. Currently, we have 270 kids enrolled in the study, which is a great number, but still a very low number, considering that we have to follow these kids for a long time until they can develop those disorders, and we can identify the factors that tell us what are the best interventions. We have already assessed more than 1,000 kids to participate. More funding for this research provides us the chance of observing these children and adolescents over time to identify the factors that would really cause uh, the onset of bipolar disorder. It would also allow us to see other mood disorders and other behavioral disorders to develop the strategies of intervention after we identify those factors. Mm -hmm.